Hello, hello, welcome to HimDev Development, where we are preparing the best tutorials to make your mobile application development easier and more efficient. Goal for this tutorial is to create a sliver list widget for the portfolio screen containing a list of tutorials consisting of an image URL and a title. We will learn how to work with another slivers, specifically with sliver list and sliver fixed extend list. We will explain the meaning of sliver delegates, we will add a new tuple class and we will learn how to work with the card widget and build a nice UI. First we open our existing application from the previous tutorial and open the portfolio underscore page to Dart file. We launch the application to see the starting point from which we begin. This is our portfolio screen from the previous tutorial. To define a list of constants with values representing the URL address of an image for a particular tutorial and its title, we will use a tuple class which allows an easy manipulation of two or more objects. However, we must first add it to our pubspec.yaml file. So we open the pubspec.yaml file and we add tuple package to our dependencies. The current version is 1.0.3. Then we open the file portfolio underscore page dot dart. And in the portfolio page class, we define the list of constants using the tuple2 class, which can pass exactly two objects. We will create a constant tutorials and define there the six of our tutorials specifically the URLs of images representing a particular tutorial and its title. In the build method, specifically in the scaffold widget, the custom scroll view widget is defined for the body attribute. This widget has a slivers attribute that is currently populated with two widgets, the sliver up bar and the sliver fill remaining widget. In this tutorial, we will replace the sliver fill remaining widget with a sliver list widget. So we remove the sliver fill remaining widget and also the underscore build content method. And instead of the sliver fill remaining widget in this sliver list, we add the sliver list widget. Why do we even use the sliver list widget instead of the classic list view widget? If you only want to scroll through a list of objects, list view is the ideal component. However, if you want to create more complex scrolling effects, like in our case, to have a collapsing toolbar with a scrolling list of items, we need to use the sliver list widget. As the slivers can create each item by lazy loading as we scroll, which is very efficient, they need to define a delegate attribute that directly provides items from our list to render a particular view while scrolling. Therefore, we define a required delegate attribute for the sliver list widget and we insert the sliver child list delegate into it where we can explicitly define a widget child list. To test how the sliver list works, we can create a for loop with 100 items to test the scrolling effects. To use the for loop directly in the widget definition, we need to raise Flutter SDK to 2.3.0 in the pubspec.yaml file. We run the application. We can scroll here. If we want the top bar to appear when scrolling up, we can define the attribute floating in the sliver up bar and set its value to true. Now when we scroll up, we can see the up bar right away. It may be even more interesting when we disable the pin attribute. While scrolling down, the up bar disappears completely and while scrolling up, it will appear again.
Ok, this was just to show you how to work with slivers in a detailed way. Let's go to add sliver list of our tutorials. And we change sliver child list delegate to sliver child builder delegate. As mentioned earlier, sliver child list delegate explicitly defines a widget child list. However, the sliver child builder delegate makes it possible to create this child widget list on demand, means lazily, which makes the whole process more efficient. Sliver child builder delegate has the build context and index arguments where index represents the index of the item while scrolling. With this callback method, we will return the widget children to the sliver list. In this case, we will create a private underscore build list item method for this purpose, which will return a specific item from our tutorial list. Sliver child builder delegate has a child count attribute where we define the exact number of items. To make our item look graphically nice, we return the card widget in the underscore build list item method to create a material design card. The widget card has a margin attribute where we set the margin to 5 for all sides. And then we set the child attribute into which we insert the row widget. The row widget has an attribute children which represents the widget list in this widget hierarchy. We define here an image widget into which we insert a network image provider with the URL of the image for the particular tutorial. We can get this URL by using the tuple variable item1 which represents the first item in this object. We run the application. We can see that in our case this image is too large. So we set the scale attribute to 12. The next item in the row widget will be the title of the tutorial which we insert into the text widget. We set the font size to 20 and font style to bold. And we will wrap it with the padding widget and set the desired padding. Finally, we'll wrap it in the expanded widget, because in our case the text is too long to fit on the device screen. This causes the yellow-black strip pattern to be displayed along the affected area. In our case, the right side is affected. Therefore, widgets can be customized to fit into a row or column using the expanded widget. We are currently aligning widgets in the row widget centered on the vertical axis and our goal is to align them to the top. Row and column widgets have the main axis alignment and cross axis alignment attributes to control the alignment of row or column widgets. For a row widget, the main axis runs horizontally and the cross axis runs vertically. For the column widget, the main axis runs vertically and the cross axis runs horizontally. So we define the cross axis alignment attribute for the row widget and set it to cross axis alignment.start so that its widget children are aligned to the top. If we want to set the same height for each item widget, we can use the sliver fix extent list widget instead of the sliver list widget and define the height using the item extent attribute. And with this is our sixth part of this first series of Flutter tutorials completed and of course you can find the complete source code on the GitHub 
as well as on our website himdeve.com where you have a detailed description of everything we went through in this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.